guys, this is Bella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, as you guys can tell, we are going to be talking about a very interesting discussion topic. We are going to be talking about influencer courses today. Now, this is something I've been wanting to discuss for a hot minute now because I'm really passionate about unethical things or scams and also just general commentary, but I really wanted to dive into this too because I'm really, really passionate about the influencer marketing industry and I love kind of giving some hot takes. But before we actually hop into today's video, I wanted to actually thank today's sponsor, which is Kenzie. The Kenzie Multifunction IPL handset is literally an incredible device that I've been using for at home laser hair removal. Like again, I've been using this literally all over my body and I wanna tell you how literally it has been changing my life. I'm currently actually planning on a bunch of major trips and events right now, which I, again, I'm getting really busy, right? And so I like to have the most minimal amount of maintenance as possible and that is why I've been obsessed with this Kenzie device. This device helps with targeting age spots, helps with skin rejuvenation, and on top of that, it mainly focuses on hair removal, which is absolutely incredible. This device, you can see results as fast as two to three weeks and four results in 12. For me personally, I saw them actually really quickly with this device as well because I've been mainly using this on like my underarms. Oh my gosh, it's incredible. So let me tell you about what is included in this box. So when you actually get your package, you get an IPL handset, which looks incredible, a quick start guide with an instruction manual so you know exactly what to do, a long nine foot power cord, which makes things so much easier, a skin tone chart guide so that you know exactly what levels to set on your device, a 12 month warranty, 90 day money back guarantee. And then you also can have one or three attachments depending on your purchase and depending on what you were looking for with your device. For me, I actually only have just my one attachment. So what exactly does this Kenzie device do? IPL means intense pulse light, which is actually made to treat a wider area. It's non radiant, convenient, safe, and this thing works amazing. I was completely blown away with my results and how fast I actually saw results with my body. It converts light energy into heat to actually treat specific areas. And with each attachment head, they have specific purposes for specific parts of your body. But my personal favorite is hair removal. I have honestly tried waxing for my underarms. I've tried shaving. I have tried plucking. I've been loving this because I've been keeping up with my maintenance literally once a week on my Sunday self care routine. I just use the device and I'm good to go. It's so quick. It's so easy. And this thing is incredible. So how do you use this device? It is so easy. You just snap on the magnet attachment of your choice. You plug the cord into the handset, the green flashing button at the back, you press to turn on, press the green button to increase or lower the IPL intensity, press the pulse button to flash. And then if you want to have glide mode, you can hold the pulse button for five seconds, that way it automatically goes. Results in little as two weeks, which is what I personally saw, and then full results actually showing at around 12 weeks. So as long as you're consistent, you're gonna see incredible results with this. And for all my subscribers, Kenzie was incredible to send me a discount code. So if you wanna go now and shop at Kenzie.com. That's K-E-N-Z-Z-I.com. Use the code SAB50 for $50 off of your purchase today. It is so worth it, hands down. Again, I've been using this for a long time now and I truly love it. I think all, I honestly think every piece that Kenzie has to offer is incredible. So I highly recommend this brand in general. But seriously, I really recommend getting started on your own laser hair removal journey because trust me, it is a game changer. And for me, it has saved me a lot of money. All right, guys, without further ado, let's get into today's video. I don't feel like many people have talked about influencer courses, but I know right now many people are very, very interested in how do I become a content creator? How do I become an influencer? How do I work online? How do I do all these things? And there's so much information out there. Sadly, when a good thing comes around, there's always some negative things that come as well. And with a good industry, there's always some things that start to pop up that are actually becoming unethical and more harmful for people who want to become a content creator. So we're going to highlight several different topics here, but before before we begin, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. And without further ado, let's get into it. So what are influencer courses? So influencer courses are courses essentially that you can purchase, which are marketed off to people who want to learn more about the influencer industry. That can range from topics such as buying a course to learn how to maybe um, edit media kits, a course on how to land brand deals, a course on how to maybe negotiate for brand deals. The options are honestly endless. You can even do a simple Google search to look and find that there are 
hundreds if not thousands of influencer courses. Now there's many issues with this and I started to realize that and again I was someone previously who actually thought influencer courses were really good and actually back in the day when social media was a little bit more new and slower with algorithms it actually made a lot of sense at the time but now that again the industry is changing and advancing for people who are knowledgeable in this it's starting to become unethical for people to actually be selling courses and topics on things that should not be costing people anything. Now I also want to make a little bit of a clarification. One on one specific coaching is a little bit different than courses. Courses are kind of just you purchase it and you have access to all this information. Whereas if you do have a one on one coaching, it could be very specifically personalized and current information according to what you need. Now again, that's not necessarily guaranteeing that you're going to get the best information. I recommend just doing really good research. But let's talk about the influencer industry as a whole and how fast it's growing. The influencer industry is literally massive and the financial potential in this is literally incredible and I think it's amazing because so many people are actually be able to do what they love for a living now. For example, the influencer marketing industry to reach $16.4 billion in 2022. There's no denying that the influencer market is a very lucrative opportunity. The market grew from $1.7 billion in 2016, according to this article, to $9.7 billion in 2020, which is an insane increase. And then again in 2021, it soared up to $13.8 billion, indicating a steady growth. So this is something that is honestly picking up, and I don't think the influencer industry is anyway stopping. It is going to grow and progress. And with that, there's going to be new apps as we go. There's going to be more ways of making money because again, the influencer marketing industry is just absolutely insane. And what's wonderful is it really works because the term influencer now is becoming more of a realistic term. You don't have to be this all famous, all knowing millions of followers person to essentially become a content creator influencer. Anyone at this point can start having access to this information. But but for people who want to start with this industry, who maybe want to participate and try and actually make this a job, most people want to try and again, do their research and learn so that way they can progress and develop in their own niche and topics. So let's talk about why are they scams? Let's talk about the actual definition of a scam, which is a dishonest scheme. In my opinion, the concept of getting exclusive strategies and details are starting to actually be extinct. And the reason being social media. Social media has developed into a way where you can access and learn information so easily. For example, example, when I started off actually creating my YouTube channel when I was, oh gosh, I think I was like 16 when I started trying to look at it, look at it and figure it out. The industry wasn't as big as it was now and it was still, again, very, very small. And so there wasn't as much information as there is today. Whereas there's people now who literally have dedicated careers to provide accessible and very, very good information to people about this industry and many others for that matter. So why are influencer courses such a problematic issue? The biggest issue that I have is people that have not knowledge, power, and influence using it in a negative way. And the reason being is I'm noticing a lot of people starting to pick up on the money opportunity of selling an influencer course because they know that people are actively hunting for this information because I get it. This is literally, I, I am so thankful and happy to have this job. I love it. And I think everyone should be able to have access to that information. And it's becoming a major problem when we have people that know the information, know the industry, know the algorithm changes, and start to still sell some of these courses. So so with my research, with actually looking into this topic, I actually purchased several different courses throughout influencer marketing and everything because I wanted to see what people in the industry now, just ranging from whoever it is, all across social media, what were they promoting and talking about? And I found some consistent patterns and problems with this. So for example, the algorithms and a lot of people that are heavily involved with the industry know that the algorithms on every single app are changing rapidly and are actually picking up in pace with the changes. For example, Instagram used to be simply a photos app App, then it developed videos. Now it's actually transitioning to where it's strictly videos. There's new trends, there's new algorithm changes, and there's so much that it's hard to keep up with. And what I'm saying is it honestly is very pointless and not really a good idea to purchase a course in my opinion, because you are purchasing outdated information. Now again, this could outdate very quickly. We're talking a couple weeks, even a month, where the information that you just purchase and try to implement into your work is actually outdated and not gonna help you. So pretty much you're spending money and it could potentially be very counterproductive productive. Another issue that I have with this is again, like I said previously, the information is very accessible and stay tuned for the end because I am going to give you guys tons of resources and people that I recommend you watching that can actually give you guidance on this topic. But my problem is, is a lot of the information that I'm starting to even find or look at when I compare to influencer courses that I purchased to what other people are seeing on the internet, all of it is identical. And again, this is what I was able to witness is I've 
purchase many things. For example, I purchased several different types of courses and things because I wanted to make sure I get a feel of what people are talking about in the industry and what they had to offer to you versus what other people who are actually sharing this information on the internet, completely accessible and for free, and just kind of wanted to compare. And I noticed that a lot of the information that was given was like completely identical to what you can access on the internet and on YouTube and on TikTok and on Instagram, on other influencer or social media developing pages. And it started to become very alarming to me how we would have people that would market off like several hundred dollars, or even a $50 or a $20 course when you shouldn't even have to spend that money because it took me maybe five seconds and I found the exact same information on YouTube, but for completely for free. And so it's starting to really make me uncomfortable because we have people that have, again, major knowledge that a lot of people don't have with the industry and they're making a profit off of it when they don't really need to be in this way. Another issue that I have is, is how there's many people who want to try and get into, involved in the industry. There's more people that really can't afford to just spend money on some of these courses. And again, people will run with this trope of, well, you need to invest in yourself. Yes, I agree. You can invest in yourself if you want to develop in a career like this. However, I want people to invest in the equipment. For example, the camera that I have. Personally, the one that I have is quite expensive, but that took a lot of time to build up. But I would rather have someone who wants to actually start be able to maybe buy the lighting that they need or purchase a product that they want to talk about on their channel instead of dropping money on a very excessively pointless course where you can find the identical information on the internet. Now, again, I would like to say that I think it's really important as well for other creatives and people who are knowledgeable in this street. I do think there is a way for you to get compensated for that. But again, that's the beauty of social media. For me, for example, it doesn't cost you a thing to learn or listen to scams or an ethical commentary like I discuss. However, I get properly compensated for my work. And I feel like especially, especially for people who are knowledgeable in the industry and algorithms, if they're able to develop their own platforms, they could easily make a very, very good lucrative career on YouTube while providing very incredible and easy accessible information. And I've witnessed this several times too with other creators on all different platforms who are able to offer identical information that these courses do, they still get paid and then people can have access to it for free and they can do with the information what they will. Another thing that I wanted to mention too is with the fact that some of these courses are outdated, again, you want people to be able to keep up with the new trends. Let's compare the two. We can see people that are automatically updating on trends, topics, and everything that's happening in the social media world on YouTube when it's current and active information. Whereas a lot of these courses aren't necessarily updated as often. And let's be real here. A lot of people cannot update them properly as frequently as possible than they can on YouTube where they can pop on a 20 minute YouTube video, get that done, upload it. Whereas with courses and trying to redistribute it to the proper people, you're still missing out. And I don't think it's very ethical to do that when you know that you cannot keep up with the algorithms in a way to disperse the information. Whereas with this, anyone can find it and they don't lose any form of money. And like I said, again, you guys, if people actually care about, about other creatives wanting to become content creators and grow. They should be actually focusing on where they started. For example, I did not have a lot of money to start when I did. It was very difficult. I had to figure out a lot of things. And again, I'm so thankful to see the industry developing. I'm so thankful to see people being willing to share information because again, it doesn't hurt anyone to share information. The industry is growing so big that we all kind of can succeed, grow and flourish, and we don't need to be charging money out of the ass for stuff that other people can access. And so I think people that are really caring about others and developing into content creators, they should care about the financial situation that they're in. And that's why I think it's very unethical for people to have influencer courses when they simply could be trying to give helpful tips and free tips at that while they're being compensated in other ways. And then also they are able to make sure and redirect and say, hey, instead of buying these courses or doing X, Y, and Z, put that money invest into this equipment because this equipment is going to help you with this type of career, whatever the case may be. Now, one quick thing I also want to kind of debunk that really drives me crazy is I've actually had my run in with some people with this topic and they've been very mad at me for wanting to talk about influencer courses. And their whole topic was, oh my God, well, people just don't want to do their research and some people would just like to purchase the information and be on their way. Now, I wholeheartedly get that. If you want to save time, I think that's really awesome. However, that is the beauty of social media now. We have people and channels, TikTok accounts, Instagram pages, everything dedicated to doing the research for you. When I can find a video on how to make a media kit already, I don't need to purchase your influencer course. If I can find tutorials and videos all about how to make reels and grow and strategies on reels that are live updated because that's the content creator's job, you don't need to purchase that course at all. If you want to learn how to edit
edit in Lightroom. Again, do not need to purchase that course because somebody already made it completely for free for you. Free content on social media by other creators who are actually gonna compensate it but not charging you at all for it is going to be the one up on this. So let's actually talk about examples of some courses that I looked into and what I found to be a little bit problematic just so you guys can get a little bit of an insight of what I'm talking about. The first one is I actually looked into a Reels tutorial. So there were some courses that I've seen and there's tons all over the internet where they're Reels tutorials. Now Reels is a very, very popular thing to be using right now on Instagram since Instagram is really prioritizing this right now with the algorithm. Videos are more important right now and Instagram wants you to use Reels. Reels are a huge way of growing your platform. So people wanna learn how to do it, if there's any proper etiquette, maybe how to put on certain fonts. And I have seen several people and I've even purchased some where these Reels tutorials were, I am not kidding, so horrifically basic with information that all it needed was a YouTube video. And with the amount of traction I've seen some of these individuals gain on their pages, they could have made very good money, but more ethical money while actually caring about the audience members and who's getting this information and how accessible is it. Another example for this is a media kit tutorial. Oh my God, this is such an old thing. If you see anyone talking about media kit tutorials, please run the hell away. Do not purchase courses like this because media kits, again, Canva has completely free media kits that you can customize and adjust according to what you would like. You also, if you want, you can actually, again, if you don't want to do the work in design, then you can actually go on to Etsy and purchase a completely done media kit and you can simply fill out the information, but there's no need to actually purchase a tutorial about it because it's honestly quite easy. And again, I am going to have videos showing of many people showing you how to make media kits and it's super straightforward. It's very clear. Another example is strategy tutorials. Now, again, I have watched some of these courses about strategies, but some of them are excessively outdated. And for example, there was even one that I read into where it was talking about how to actually pitch to a brand. And while looking at it, I even compared it with other people and influencer agencies. And I have other friends of mine that are even managed and they were like, oh my God, this is actually completely wrong and no one will work with them because of this. And so what I'm saying is if anything, it's better to have trial and error with completely free information than trial and error with information that costs you a lot of money. Because then it also makes you feel like you're a failure and then you don't know what you're doing when in fact the information that was given to you was just wrong. But if anything, I would rather you fail by trying with something that was just free that you could research into versus someone that someone pretty much scammed you into purchasing in my opinion. What I'm trying to get at is most of these courses are complete BS. Now again, like I said, if you are wanting to find someone that has a very good portfolio, actually has a very good engaged audience and actually has a good history of working with brands and having things work out for them, then I understand doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, but I really recommend you to do some research on who you're actually investing your time into because some people are going to put more profit over people. And another thing that I would recommend is if you see people selling courses and one-on-one -on -one coaching, I personally would stay away from them. Whereas if you see someone maybe on YouTube that's actually offering some more free resources and is giving you all this information and then says, hi, if you want to have more personalized advice according to your niche and your topics and your page, then you can book a one-on-one one, that would make more sense. Again, like I said, we're going to be talking about some resources that there are many, many pages for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube that have incredible influencer content creator tutorials and videos that are giving you awesome real life experiences. So for example, I am going to have some YouTube channels. There is one that is Millie Adrian, Sidewalker Daily, uh, Katie, and Catherine Manning. A lot of these have been incredible content creators that have given free advice that have personally helped me and many, many other other people that I know. So I really recommend them. TikTok pages. I'm going to be honest, TikTok, there's a lot of beauty with TikTok because there's so much transparency, I feel like involved with TikTok. So there's many things that you can look into. For me personally, I've actually looked into hashtags, influencer tips, questions like how to work with brands and things like that, because you have real life people that will show examples. And then there's people in the comment section talking about their experiences. So it shows you people that actually have experience with this and know what they're talking about and have been there, done that, and you can actually ask questions and learn from other content creators who simply just want to help. And then Instagram pages. I know I personally have a page called Influencer Oasis, which I'm actually um, in the process of trying to revamp and add a little bit more to it. But at the end of the day, I also would like to say that there are other pages that post more and do way more than mine does. So honestly, I will have all them linked in the description below because I want everyone to have access to all these different platforms that will give you all this different information. A lot of these different people or 
pages and everything, they offer advice specifically for different platforms. So if you want to focus on TikTok, because that's more your vibe, you can focus on TikTok. If you want to focus on Instagram or YouTube, there's literally anything available to you. So the last things I want to talk about is always be cautious of what's marketed off to you. I think that's the biggest and easiest way people fall into scams or lose money is they see the flashing ad or all the illusion and they don't actually see that there's a lot of stuff that they can get for free. And it honestly makes me very upset and heartbroken because again, I used to be one of those people where I would try and look into it. I would want to purchase and see. And then I started to realize that it didn't make sense and the information was completely free on the internet. So remember that you can learn most, if not literally all of the information in order to become a content creator, how to land brand deals, how to create content specifically for brands, all of these incredible topics in order to develop affiliate marketing, everything, all of these topics you can learn completely online. You don't have to purchase an influencer course. So that was my two cents on it. I do think that again, I do believe personally that there are a lot of scams out there. So be very cautious because some people have been pushing the idea that, that they can make their own influencer money off of literally telling you how to be an influencer. So be very cautious about that. It is becoming very problematic, not actually caring about people and the content creator industry. So keep that in mind. That was it for today's video. Let me know if you guys have any, any other scams or unethical things that you want me to talk about on this channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. Love you. Bye.